Well, greetings once again, folks, from my little lion, Kit Kat, and me, <laughs> for yet another My Artsy Music session. Hey, hey, Kit Kat. Hey, there's another lion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 Um, yes. So, welcome back, and uh, and welcome to any of you newbies that happen to have happened upon my channel. Um, I bid you a, a hearty welcome. So, um, as many of you know so far, um, I've been working on this portrait of a dearly departed lion by the name of Siam, um, who was with the Kevin Richardson um, Wildlife Sanctuary in Gauteng. And uh, yes, so I shall continue with this piece and complete it during this session of course um, we had to extend it a little bit um, yeah so let's have at it shall we um, quite a lot of work to do so best I get a move on with it glad Kit Kat could grace us with his presence this morning and uh, yeah which, is, which has been it's been a while um, I can say that anyway all right so yes so as i was saying welcome to anybody who's just recently arrived on my channel and is and hopefully you're enjoying what you what you experience what you see um what you hear and uh if you do then please um subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications for any future uploads, etc. And uh, please do share and like, and and by all means comment. As I'm always saying, it's uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a wonderful thing to have new people on board. But it's also it's also great for my algorithms to. To have people comment and um, I shall always um, respond no matter what the comment well unless it's a unless it's a not so nice nice comment or some arbitrary cryptocurrency thing or some such rubbish um, I'm not really into that stuff so so uh, yep yeah, but otherwise any queries I will answer any any comments whatsoever I truly appreciate I really do so uh, any and all are welcome right, so we're just bringing a little bit more definition now during this final session to Siam And uh, and of course, enhancing his features, and of course, finalizing with his with the detail of his face. I'm not so Kit Kat. What do you say? He's not very really happy with Sage and Finn this morning, but he's present nevertheless, which is a, which is always a good thing. Hey, my boy. So just bringing a little bit of, using a little a lot of line work now. So I'm just doodling around and uh, and using my contact crayon to. Uh, to doodle with in oodles <laughs> and uh, and what I'm doing is just is just through these doodles to to uh, bring in a little bit more definition where required A little bit more definition, a little bit more contrast. I'm, I'm working with the lights now, the lighter 
lighter tones, tints rather, and uh, yeah, a little bit on his body. I'll get to the I'll get to the uh, his uh, his facial features much later. I'm going to push for the hour, I think, on this one. So I've got to use use the full extent of the of the time of uh, whatever time that I have. Uh, right, where's my eraser? Where is my eraser? There we go. So I'm just using my eraser to blend a little, and just soften some edges here. Harden some edges as well. Yeah, so that just brings up, it just punches him out a little bit. And just in the spots where the sun is catching his pelt okay we'll leave that for later now I want to just start just a few of these lighter lines actually I'm going to use my little chip of very pale, very pale, um, almost a cream color. And I'm literally using a little chip, quite tiny little chip I can't seem to find this color anymore in loose in loose pastels but not that it matters that much Where's our contour again? It, it just disappears right in front there. There it is. These things tend to vanish before your eyes when you're actually needing them. Given that, that, that this is, although this is a, quite a loosely um, illustrated piece, um, it nevertheless requires some time to build up certain uh, textures and whatever, just like I'm working on now. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm... This is what I'm busy with.
let's just use a little bit of the black compressed charcoal just to accentuate his tail a little bit perhaps a couple of these just in terms of line just to bring those little darkest of darks out and a little fin little fins also coming to join us and say hello all it takes now is for sage to come along hello little fin there she is have a look at that <laughs> you're a panther he's a lion <laughs> hey fin yeah okay mm. right off you go then So just let's see, just just using this for um Finn, don't be hopping up there please because you'll upset everything. Try and keep the lines as fine as possible here. Anyway, I digress. I was working with this and then other things take over. <laughs> I wanted to also use a little bit of this uh, sort of slightly off orange in conjunction with the white and the, the softer yellow pastels. Again, just underlining or underscoring the uh, the morning mood, which is dawn, dawn lighting. So we've got where the sun does catch the grass. It's, 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 it's kind of a yellowy, golden sort of orange, marigold type of coloration. I don't want to punch it up too hard um, in, in with the orange because I don't want it to be get overpowering. So this is almost a, 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 a sort of a, a dusky, dusky peach color um, rather than orange orange. So uh, just is enough for the purposes of this uh, of this. So it's still quite a soft, as I say, dusky color, slightly smoky. Um, we've got some distant horizon over there, also soften that a little bit as well. Let's actually do that with this colour over here. Yes, the far distant plains. And then we've got kind of a tree line that runs along here. Perhaps there's some water or um, a little stream or something like that that warrants the vegetation, the greener, slightly greener vegetation. But otherwise, it's all just grassland. Right, let's continue with this with this orangey colour a little bit. Uh, first of all, I must take some more of the wrapper off.
this yellow doesn't come out as brightly as it appears to be, but, which is perfect. Just for a little bit of uh, spectrum of color, which as I explained in the previous session, one of the previous sessions goes a long way towards building form. And you employ a range of colors within a spectrum. Complementary as well as discordant. Or opposing colors. a little bit of uh, black Conte here. I just want to get some contrast going in within there. And also creating a little bit, a, a few dis, sort of disturbances here and there in terms of, it, it's not all the same, same, um, in terms of the grass patterns or something that you, you get, you get these clumps of grass that have been squashed and it's just, it's not like, it's not like a, it's not uniform. So I want it just mix it up a little bit. That's one scratching around like a like a hen in the gravel. to bring a little bit, bit of this orange into Siam's features over here. In fact, I think I might punch this orange up a little bit on his features, but I'll get to that a little later.
do our white contour again. Once more, just just building the just through technique and texture, through sketching, through doodling, through line. I'm just building up the appearance of, of this grass, little by little by little, so that it's almost time to start working with our, oh goodness me, this damn clock has stopped, ah, you know I hate this. I'm going to have to just check on what the time is on the camera. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so we've just need to. How irritating. Anyway, it's like a little bit um, antiquated, my timing system. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, anywho, for this lovely long grasses that actually are maybe a meter high in places and he kind of just and maybe a bit higher than that so that just gives this idea that Siam is actually looking over the tops of the grass the the, the general the general level of the grass into the distance um, is kind of just probably chin height for him, maybe a little bit above, maybe a little bit below. And uh, yeah, so he just gets to stare out into the distance, into the distant plains. kind of reference to between it's like almost foreground stuff here so I've got these stronger lines which kind of point towards grass that's closer giving that sense of depth once again let's go over that with my eraser um, I just want to rub, clean this as far as I can. Also create a little bit of an edge on this as well. Right, let's go. So, the eraser Basically, I use this for just 
blending a little bit, creating some nice gentle flecks, pulling colors one into the other. Also, where it picks up the darks, creates a little bit of what looks like shadow as well. Smudging, smoothing a little bit of the background so that it's not quite as... Right, I need to do, actually, what I need to do now is get on with doing this shrubbery behind here. Behind his head. So starting when starting to use it um, starting by using my charcoal and to describe it with and perhaps I'll just later on use a wee bit of black conte to just to accentuate some of the darker twigs, branches, etc. So it's just so this is obviously a little dried out shrub being in the midst of summer. Everything is dry, especially in the, in the on the bushveld plains. Um, not dead. of course and all of this will start to just like any anywhere else in the world where trees shed their leaves during winter perhaps um, come to think of it this is probably more like winter isn't it <laughs> as I sit here and talk botanics <laughs> um, but anyway, so we've got leafless shrubbery, very stark twigs and little branches and so on. I'm just going to put a few of these around here. So also just breaking up this this um, horizon line and also just framing Siam's head and neck area um, and drawing attention to it as well. Just once again bringing it all in here so that but not losing sight of the rest of this. So that's why, you know, being sort of dry twigs and so on, it's uh, it's not full. It's not full with leaves and what have you, which would very much, it's just kind of breaking up the background. So that if it was full of leaves, it, leaves, it would kind of overpower his presence. So just want to, I need to use softer lines here, that's for sure. You can just get this idea of this. And this is why I was saying much earlier on in the, uh, in the series that I wanted to, when I was doing, decided to do the sky and that's why I left it for so long and, and didn't do any, any other further details, but I, First of all, left it blank, and then I decided, okay, I'm going to put the cut sky, color the sky, um, because had I done this first, it would have been impossible to get that smooth vignette of the sky. It would have been too bitty, too detailed, um, and right now it's perfect because it's nice and soft. And a gentle gradation of of tone and tint
across the top of my work area. This just provides sufficient a little bit of detail and, and, and in a way it's just a texture. So doesn't disrupt also the background so you can kind of see through the twigs and branches and so on um, it actually makes it that much more gives it that much more perspective and depth um, which is fantastic so we've got a few of these a couple of these little shrubs and I'm just kind of doodling away. Um, these little shrubs are quite quite rough and I don't want to give them too much too much attention. I'm just poking up above the horizon line just to break that once more break that line a little bit. now using a little bit of charcoal softer of course then then the, and and uh, and obviously lighter than the black of the Conte But the two work well together. So I think. A little fin. And also this just just bleeding off the top of the page here. At the top of the work area out of out of the image area. So it just stretches it out a little bit and Yeah, so it's not all, it's not all, it, not everything is contained. You want, you want a little bit more outside. You want to be left guessing what's more, what's more, always what's more. It's not about what the, the shrub represents, this little dry shrub, but it's about that sense of expansiveness of space and, and that, there's more than what is depicted within this image area. A great deal more. So, and, 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 and Siam's gaze only strengthens that stance. Um, oops, oops, oops. Uh, there we go, it's better in fact. So he's, his gaze leading out of the image area um, um, harkens you to something more, something beyond. Another animal perhaps, or a, something that he's heard, something that he's um, contemplating.
and as I complete this piece, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of get the, uh, more of an idea of that intensity of gaze as I work a little bit more finely with his features, with his eyes and surrounds, his nose, his mouth, etc. Um, right now I'm just building the integrity of texture of this bush felt. Mm. You see now these colors change, they change color because they get, they get cut oh, under. Sometimes these pastels, because I've been using them with other pastels, they tend to look different. But, all right. Um, What are you doing, Finn? Mm, good Lord. More or less stylized, really, than, than trying to accurately depict any of this, any of this, really. Uh, kind of there. And yet, as I mentioned previous sessions this is it's kind of still in terms of its composition it's a classical approach to to a wildlife um, artwork um, his pose um, how he's positioned within the subject area or image area yeah Technique wise, I'm just really trying to capture a mood. here and there. Talk of Conte. Just 
just little scratchy lines crisscrossing haphazardly again just just uh, what I'm doing is just feeling the feeling this place everything in the bush or in a jungle is haphazard something grows where it drops where a, where a seed drops where a berry drops and there's no planning it's not landscaping it's it just it just is and it grows according to geographical elements sources of water whatever it is so there's no real uniformity to to nature aside from certain certain things like a shell of a snail and and certain geometric patterns and and so on that 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 seem to have sort of mathematic reference, but uh, but by and large, everything is just, as I said, haphazard, a apparently haphazard. And then again, everything is by design, isn't it? Everything is by design. Everything happens for a particular reason. It's for that relentless abundant growth that that is life and that is living over the charcoal areas, at least over the pastel areas of my charcoal, it's very, it's very soft. Um, the, the charcoal doesn't take quite as, as easily. And so I can work a lot more subtly now with this. Let's, let's start now. I want to work on his face. As I dilly dally with other little silly details. Right.
just a little bit of touching of detail here and there. Um, my, <clears throat> that's why I'm not talking too much now because I'm I'm really needing to give it some. Oh, I think I'm wrong tool. Um, really need to give it some. attention and focus now for some real close-up work so forgive me for blocking everything out <clears throat> I need to work because this is tiny now I need to work on his eye <clears throat> um, what have I got here so I just want to use a paintbrush just to just to so that I don't smudge anything here Touch of yellow. Um, <clears throat> what should I use for that? With this, maybe that's too yellow. Ooh, that one. Do I put in a little bit of the? Just a goodness me, a real hint of the pupil. Where's my white? Every little mark makes the difference, makes a difference. So, Kevin, if you're watching, I hope this looks like Siam. That's my desire. <laughs> All right, so let's just. <clears throat> Just a few minutes left now, 10 minutes or so.
sentences. Oh gosh. This is the part where I'm needing to concentrate quite closely on what I'm busy with. So not a lot of talking, I'm afraid, when I'm doing that. Lovely. Right, some some nice white now for his. Let's just do some pastel for this, I think. Some white pastel. even some whiter pastel, softer in other words, just a, a few flecks. So this will be the brightest, the lightest part of this piece, given that his, this is about, this is about Siam and therefore his face is the focal point. And we're nearly done. Been a real privilege work working on this piece. Um, even though I was not fortunate enough to, to ever meet Siam, I feel that, I always feel that even when I'm doing a, a portrait, perhaps of an animal or, that I have never met, but doing a portrait as a just as as more recently I worked on a portrait of a of an animal of a pet um, German Shepherd kind of felt 
her energy and that's what I kind of work with is, is just telling a story and all of this is just a story Not overpowering in terms of the focal point areas. Um, not overpowering at all. Let's just quickly just pull that a little bit darker there. Right, that's that's almost as close as damn it to completion now. Don't want to overdo it either. That's the that's the, the biggest trick. Right folks, I am going to I'm going to end off. Just a few little what? Highlights in this bush, twig, twigs, and so on. Right, and I'm done. Okie dokie, folky workies, and let's sign off. So, um, what color, what color, what color, what color? I'm going to use this vegan poo brown to sign off with, and just over here. We got a uh, yep twenty plenty three nice and subtle right we're done thank you for joining me I hope you've enjoyed the process um, and uh, if you want to check out who Siam really is please check out uh, kevin richardson's uh, links in the uh, description below and uh, yes i hope you've enjoyed the process like i said and uh, if you're new to the channel once again please subscribe hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you get notified of future uploads and share comment Go mad. Um, it helps with my algorithms. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, it's, let's see what the next, what the, what the next series brings. Um, anyway, meantime, I bid you oodles and oodles of toodles. And uh, catch you again next time, folks. In the meantime, be good, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc., etc. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic weekend ahead. And, uh, and look after yourselves. Bye. And don't forget to doodle.